Keep all of your Office 365 apps up to date by installing Office from your Office 365 account. This tutorial was created using the desktop version of PowerPoint and the recording feature uh, where you can record a slideshow and when you are done you can actually publish right to stream. Microsoft Stream can be found in your Waffle and it's YouTube for Foxborough Public Schools. These videos are only available within members of our organization. Let's check out the screen recorder from Stream. So from the Create menu drop-down, I'm going to choose Record Screen. Depending on your browser, this may look different, but at some point your browser is going to ask you to allow permission to both your microphone and camera to record your screen. Make sure you click Allow and not Block. Before you actually start recording, you'll want to make sure that your camera and microphone settings are correct. If you would like to have your camera on and your face included in the bottom right hand corner, you can do that from the camera drop down. Make sure your microphone is set to the correct microphone so that you can be heard clearly. When you're ready, click that record button to start recording. Lastly, choose what you'd like to share. I've chosen to share my entire screen and click that share button. You are now recording your screen. Feel free to switch to anything you'd like to see in any other application. You can hit this pause button if you want to pause and bring up something else and, and use time to get ready for the next thing. You can do that. Um, don't worry about the beginning and the end. It's very easy to trim it after you've published it. Um, and when you're ready to be done with the recording, you'd come back to this screen and click that next button. Once you finish your recording, this is where you would review your recording and you can either trash it and record it again or you see in the bottom right hand corner you can actually upload it directly to your stream account. Give your screen recording a name and um, you do want to leave the box checked to uh, allow everyone in the company to view this video um, just so that everyone can see it and then you can click the publish button when you're done. To find my videos, I'm back on the stream homepage and I'm going to click the My Content drop down and choose Videos. Here you see my videos. Next to each video, you'll see three dots or an ellipsis, which is a drop down menu. Here, if you'd like, you can trim your video by deleting the beginning or the end of the video. All you have to do is simply drag the sliders from either end and cut off what you don't want. Also under that drop down menu is the share button. You can also access it while watching the video from below, similar to YouTube. Here is where you can copy a link to the URL to your video. You are also able to email or embed the video somewhere on a website. 